Oh, we better lift you up here a little bit more. Ding, 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 so you can see. We're gonna be cooking together today, everybody. Hey. Everybody, I see you. Here we go. Victory. I got it. Good morning to you, Melissa, in Tasmania. Hi, Janet. Let's see. I got to get this closer. My eyes are weak. Hi, Rachel. Oh, George wants to come in, I think. Hi, Brandy. Having a good day. Got a lot of errands done already this morning. Come on, Georgie, coming in. He says, no, he's not coming in. Okay, who's ready to cook together? I heard that some of you were not able to see the community post. That's very not cool. Kensington, hi. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Tony. Hi, Nicole. How are you today? I'm good today. How are you guys? Hi, Krista, Pat. Jennifer, another Jennifer, Casey, Rebecca, Sharon, Ryan, Tammy, Lori, hi, 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 Winnipeg, Canada. It always sounds so, I don't know, movie, Winnipeg. You know what it makes me think of is what about Bob? I don't even know if that's where they go. Hi, so what, um, Carrie, right? Make sure I know, make sure I'm saying that. Um, Jamie, hey. Gitaka, hey, I thought about you the other day when I was getting my um, cauliflower. Did you see the most recent shop with me? Hi, Julie. Yes, I got it. Carrie, France. Hi, Marie in France. Did you know that Marcus um, had been planning to move to France before we met and I stole him away? Jennifer, that's the first movie you saw in the movie theater was What About Bob? It's a, it's a favorite, a family favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's the best. I sail? <laughs> yes. Gitaka, it was very expensive cauliflower compared to yours. Hi, Michaela. But you know what? It was in good shape. It looked really good, so we bought it. I haven't cut it up yet. I will, though. The kids love it. Tina, didn't see you there, sorry. Hi, Leah from France. Two people from France. Where were you gonna move to when you went to France? It was like um, Saint Germain, I think. Saint Germain. Leah yeah. and uh, Marie, have you heard of that? It's like um, on the west side of Paris. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> We've been trying to move to Europe, overseas, so many times. Eggs in Rhode Island, six forty nine. That is six forty nine. Whoa! For a dozen? Did you see? I got them for what was it? Two eighty nine. I about jumped out of my skin. I was so excited. Hi, Susan. Hi, Jen. How is um? Let me remember how to say her name. Don't tell me. Hold on. Oh darn! Remind me how to say your granddaughter's name, Jen. It's escaped me. Dog mama, hey Alicia. I was wondering about you. Where have you been, girl? Hi, Tamika. Oh, I need to mute this. We don't need to hear myself. Yeah. Talk back to myself. Bab, mm -hmm. go back to Germany. I miss the bread. Yes. Ich möchte Brot bitte. Ayana. Ayana. Okay, thank you. I could kind of see it in my brain. Is she with you today, Jen? Ayana is her name. I like that you write out how I should say it. That's really what I need in my life. <laughs> Wafa, hey, hey, hey. Oh, Wa yeah, Wafa, Wafa, remind me exactly where you're at again. I think, I think she's in Egypt. Egypt, okay. Yes, I think. Benjamin, hello. 
Oh, she went home last night, Jen. Mm -hmm. How long was she staying with you? Was it for like Christmas time? Valerie, hi, you made it. Hey, while we're chatting, how many of you are cooking with me today? Like I, okay, so I put in the community post the ingredients for today's excitement. And somebody said that they weren't able to see it, I think on an iPad or something, which is so sad. Where are the children? It's so quiet. Susan, this is Saturday and it's Saturday afternoon, which means that they are allowed to play games like, you know, Nintendo Switch or Minecraft, something like that. Mm -hmm. So they are playing that right now. They, this is a, they wait all week for this moment. Yeah. <laughs> They're one time a week that they get to play games. Right. Yeah. What does Marcus do for a living? He does grants. I work for the state, the state government, Illinois. Julie, I expect that since it's 2 a.m. where you're at, that you're cooking with us, right? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you've been waiting. Um, Janet, oh, your ankle's still broken. How does it feel? Any better? Wafa, of course we remembered you. Of course. Sadly, no, you're not making this, but I'm curious about what it is and the ingredients. Okay, I wanted to cook along, but I'm laying in bed sick. Benjamin, I'm so sorry. That's terrible. Okay, I have her and her brother almost every weekend and holidays and PA days. What's that mean? Like days off school? PA days PA are day? personal assistant days. <laughs> Okay, so while we're chatting here for a second, if you're cooking with me, put some water to boil on the stove. Let me tell you what, I am using my new um, hex clad pans, four and a half minutes to boil. The boil is out of this world, like steam going everywhere. It's so fast and it makes my heart just, ah, so happy. Also, I'm gonna make my little specialty dish here. This is called herbed broccoli, by the way. And I've been making this since I was in high school. Uh, it's kind of my little thing. Okay, it's just after 5 a.m. on Sunday in Tasmania, Australia, so I'm just watching. Melissa, listen, you can make broccoli <laughs> at 5 in the morning. Is that weird? Oh, Carrie, it's 4 a.m. there. Just a little early for lunch. All right, next time. Alicia, been struggling with some things and I get quiet when I'm in survival mode. That's okay, I understand. I watched your Christmas cooking vlog with my dad yesterday. He said he looks like your dad. Oh, Jen, yes, days off school. Sick or hurt, we are still watching. Okay, good, Janet. Jacqueline, hello from Salem, Oregon. Jennifer N, I've had so much broccoli in the past week, I'm about to start spr <laughs> sprouting green trees from my head, but are you still cooking with us is the question. Jacqueline Anderson, hello from Minnesota. Hey, hey, how's the snow there? I feel like I followed somebody that they recently said there was snow in Minnesota. Susan, it's 10 a.m. in Vegas, so I'm just going to drink coffee. You know what? You drink coffee. I'll do this. Okay. I'm going to make mine with spaghetti squash. This is kind of a topping. You put vegetables on top of vegetables. You're going to love this. It sounds like it. Yeah. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you want the most spaghetti-ish spaghetti squash, you're going to cut it this way. Not the, this is called hamburger way. This is, no wait, this is hot dog way, the longer way. We're going to cut it hamburger way, the short way. And, oh yeah. Now, is it herbed broccoli or herbed with an it's H? It's definitely herbed. Don't, I think it's herbed. Don't start that. It's herb. Like herb. herb What's up, herb? I think it's herb broccoli. I don't, I don't think so. Do you like my dad here? Your dad jokes are fantastic. This guy has some seeds in it, so let's get those out. Oh, that looks disgusting. Marcus Russell. Those are just the seeds. Um, Beverly from Chattanooga, Chattanooga, Chattanooga. Hi, Louise. V. Gates. Oh, so what uh, says Marcus is correct? It's her. Oh, Carrie, her. Carrie, <laughs> this is not acceptable. We do not. No, no, no. Her. no. Nova Scotia. Hey again, Lisa. I've never ate spaghetti squash. Okay, here's your moment to see. So I've cut it in uh, the hamburger way, and I'm just going to get the seeds out. I'm gonna put mine in a pressure cooker. I can't remember how long it goes in the oven if you're gonna have an oven bake, so just Google it. And if you're gonna put it in an oven, you'll wanna olive oil it, salt and pepper, and then stick it down. And uh, you can put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan if your heart desires, but you don't have to. What are you giggling about? What's over here? Marcus is growing more apprehensive by the minute, Jennifer. 
I, he said last night, he said, can we have something good, tasty? And I said, you're going to love this. Oh my gosh, show them, would you show them this pot right here? It's already okay, boiling. Yeah. I just started it. Oh my word. Yeah, so I, actually, it. I actually have to turn it down from high because it boils so much that it will boil away the water. Okay, so salt your water, people. I'm not even ready for this yet. Oh man, we're in trouble. Just salt the water and come back. We'll be fine. Okay, because we're still gonna get this guy. That's gonna be for the broccoli if I didn't tell you that already. If you're gonna make this in the pressure cooker, you're gonna put your sweet little guys, this is taking a lot longer than normal. Is it because I'm talking? No, wait a minute, who is uh, from Nova Scotia? Lisa. Lisa is in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Oh, we wanted to go to, where was it in Nova Scotia? Lunenburg? Is that what it is? Yes, that's a pretty little town in Nova Scotia. Oak Island, Lunenburg. Oh yeah, Oak Island. Halifax. Not a squash lover, but always love your lives. Steven, this is your moment, you're gonna love it. Yeah. Sorry, I, didn't, I interrupted you. <laughs> yes, it is. It is, uh, the H is silent or I prefer it not to be silent. He likes to. Herbs. He likes to <laughs> mess with me is what it is. I like to say, let's then, go, Herbs. With all your amazing cooking, have you been thinking about an air fryer? It's so popular here in Europe, especially this Christmas. A lot of people have air fryers. You know what? Yes, what is that? Is that a new thing? That, well, um... I don't think it's new. I think it's just gaining more and more popularity. No, what is it? You're just frying? It's instead of frying things, but it like cooks it. It's almost like a convection oven from what I understand. It like circulates the air, helps things be awesome. You know, it's another gadget that I have to have sitting around. So it's like, I don't know. I've been doing fine without it. I don't necessarily feel the need. Convince me otherwise, those of you that have an air fryer. Is that, that's Lisa, so, uh, yeah, she says I'm secretly an Aussie. That's, that's what true. it is, yes. I think it's right, yeah. I am secretly an Australian. Okay. Somebody says hello from, where was it? Oh, hi from West, oh hi Kathy in West Virginia, all right. Hi. Okay, I'm putting hi. these guys into my pressure cooker on a trivet, um, up, and seven minutes. Here I go. Hi, Paulina in Bosnia. What? Yes. Are you new, Paulina? Is she new? Well, thanks for I joining us. You know what? That name sounds familiar, but it's hard to say. I We had a foreign exchange student here. Uh, his name is Borko, uh, a basketball player. He was from Bosnia, I think. Yeah. Um, Oh, but that was back a long time ago. I think, uh, uh hi, Nick Knack and Nottingham. Hey. Nottingham, UK. Okay, here I go. Uh, uh. Four minutes. No, seven minutes. Oh, Wapa says her niece. Ooh, that's a cool name, Rokaya. Rokaya. Ooh, Rokaya. Loves your videos. Wow. Aw, we'll say hi. Okay, now I'm opening my broccolaca. Can you even see it? Megan Duck Girl, we are making herbed broccoli. Herbed broccoli, thank herbed. you. Herbed. Herbed broccoli. Oh, that's ridiculous. I like to pronounce my H's like, what? What? Where? He likes to do it right in my face as well. What? In my ear. Where? What? It's Why? Why? Herbed. That's ridiculous. Okay, broccoli, I'm just breaking it up. Oh, Kathy says her son is named Marcus. How about that? Is it spelled with a C or a K, Kathy? A C. Oh, she probably said it. Okay, Benjamin, we are, wait. Have to say it's amazing and it cooks your food so fast and it's way cheaper than an oven, especially with the gas prices here in Europe. It's skyrocketed, so it's expensive. Oh, hi, Oklahoma, Georgia, and. Sing a song, Megan. Oklahoma is the place for me. New York is where I'd rather be. Actually, that doesn't make sense. I don't know if that's the words. If oh, Rachel, Rachel says it's, it is pronounced with an H in the UK. Herbs, basil, uh, vitamins. Vitamins. Vitamin to vegemin. If you know what that's from, put it here. You know. It's one of my faves. 
I don't like What's the other one that we've heard? Uh, oh, um, they always say... Uh, the UK pronunciations are superior to uh, I, yes. American. I will say Let's that. Let's just get that out of them. Yes. Are you, who's cutting broccoli with me right now? How many of you? Blonde says she pronounced it with an H. Blonde. And it drives her uh, American husband crazy. <laughs> the heads. It just sounds more beautiful, really. You gotta love Lucy. Oh, Sharon, you know it. She's my favorite. I've seen them all. Yeah. Okay, I'm rinsing my Barocco Laka. There's another British word I learned. Um, that you're, uh, oh, when you retire in Britain, it's called jacking it in. Like you're jacking it in. I've heard somebody say that before. Can huh. somebody, and maybe if uh, you're in Britain, you can confirm if that's correct. I'm doing it right. You're jacking it in like you're retiring from your job. Yeah. Okay. Hi in the Philippines. Oh. And hello auf Deutschland. Hello A N and I Germany. I used to think herbs were something different to herbs. Oh, two different things, but they are not. Okay, broccoli is going in the salted water, boiling water. Faff about. That's like if you're messing around, I think, and I'm being serious, you say, oh, I'm just faffing about. Are you impressed with my knowledge of... You're very good. I'm exceptionally yes. proud of your skills. Okay. Now we're not going to use this, right? Oh, you're going to eat the trash here. I don't want to eat the squash spaghetti noodles that are inside with the seed. Oh, I, I can't wait for you to eat this. You are going to love it. Now listen, do not overdo the broccoli. Just check it. At four minutes, five minutes, because mushy broccoli... That's a no for me. Well, Cook Amateur says she loves our kitchen. Yeah. Well, thank you. The previous owner did a really good job remodeling it. Yes. Uh, it did not originally look like this. It no. Was, uh, it was a... Uh, very strange. There was a huge bookcase. You can actually still see the indentation. I mean, like, a huge bookcase. Right here. It was very, like, 70s... Uh, but it was no. a 90s house. It was weird. Yeah. Okay, next up, now we must make the topping for the goodness. So I've got two tomatoes. No, not impressed. Okay. Tomatoes? Yes. yes. That, I am impressed. <laughs> yes. And we're just going to chop up the tomatoes. A uh, serrated knife makes it much better. Oh, my little tomato here has a doinger in it, though. Whoops. Can I admit something here to all of you? I was in Ireland back in 2006, I think. I don't, I couldn't say that my Irish accent was all that great, but I did pretend to have a British accent. You did? <laughs> Just a time or two, I went to the store and I pretended like I had a British accent. I said hello, I got what I needed. We'll say it, do it. <laughs> no, I can't do it now. I'm too nervous. Uh, say it. Hello, did you? love. Hello, love. That's very, uh... Hello, love. <laughs> Ezra came to me the other day, and he gave me an Australian accent, and it sounded really good. I was like, whoa, way to go. Okay, you love mushy broccoli with butter and Parmesan. Isn't that interesting? I like a more firm broccoli. So you just cook it however your heart desires. And Rebecca, I know you're not cooking it personally, but... Imagine it in your mind. Susan says she has a British accent. I wish we did have Brad British accent. Yes, I do too. Now Jen asked if we decided we're gonna go for Valentine's Day. We there's a new place here called Roots and it's a Latin grill. We're looking to go in there. You know what I was thinking about doing for you? Shh. What? It's the broccoli. Oh it bad stinks. Ugh. <laughs> I know I smelled it all of a sudden I'm like, whoa. Um, you know where I was I was thinking of getting you for Valentine's Day? You know that hot spa sauna thing that we have in town? Yes. I was thinking I would get you a gift card there. What? No. I don't know. Don't do that. No. You don't want to try it? You don't want to be like the Swiss? Well, I would try it, yeah. It's not like a weird thing. We're not doing it together. I'm just yeah. saying. You know. Can't wait to see you cook. It's happening right now, Leslie. Don't forget about the seaweed. I will get that for you. you seaweed? Want me, you want me to get you more seaweed for Valentine's Day? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Who I tried it? it? Israel tried it. Ezra wouldn't do it. I can't do it. Oh no, I accidentally stabbed my hand cutting out the white part in the tomato yesterday. Thankfully it's small. Yeah. 
lives in Te you live in Texas, surely, but born and raised in the UK. Oh, I'm jealous. You would love that for Valentine's Day, Jan says. What? Nanette. Nana says hi from Alabama. Hey. Who's still cooking with me? Anybody? I have a British accent, Susan. A Brit living in Vegas. We have a friend um, here in town. She's from the UK, and it is lovely to listen to her. Yeah, speak. she's lovely. Pretty much you can just say anything, yeah. and I'm like, mm-hmm. When I was in um, England, we were, they were watching football, and this little eight-year-old boy was talking all about it. He sounded so brilliant. Yeah, this. It was just like, just talking about football made him sound mm -hmm. brilliant. Okay, what else? I find sweating profusely makes the spa a little less enjoyable. You would like it though, wouldn't you? Probably, out, yeah. You like to sweat out all your toxins and yeah. just feel. Helps your immunity. Yeah. Inflammation, I imagine. I don't know. You know, have I been paying attention to the broccoli? It might be mushy at this point. Continuing to cut the tomatoes. After this, it's so fast. I'm gonna drain my broccoli because I'm very concerned. Have you guys checked on your broccoli yet? How does it look? How does it smell? A little bit? It's sulfuric. Sulfuric, yeah, it smells a little stinky, actually. Okay, hi from Ireland, Yvonne. Hope you're keeping well. Just wondering if you could do an egg-free bake. Love watching you guys. Egg-free. Oh, an egg-free so bake, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, when I, um, long ago, so I happy. was kind of like a nanny sort of for a family that had two special needs children and they had the top eight allergens so we did a ton of flax eggs we used applesauce instead we used all kinds of things to make yummy stuff without egg all right let me i'm gonna go pour this out oh it's yvonne in ireland is it yvonne or yvonne yeah. Oh. And Fiona in Scotland. Fiona! I'm gonna, um, a little bit of olive oil in the broccoli. It just feels right to do that. The <laughs> next says hello in Alabama. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, that's good. So here we have tomatoes. Now, the rest of this is so easy, you're gonna be amazed. What are they saying, Daddy? All right, baby. Oh, Ryan is in Wales. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Ryan Evans? Oh, I like that spelling. That is, that's a good one. Your air fryer changed your whole life. She has to go potty, Daddy. Could you help All her right, get the on. costume? Come on, Daddy. Uh, I just made my whole breakfast in less than 10 minutes. Hash browns, eggs, turkey, bacon, and toast. Hello from Washington State. Oh, I would love to go to Washington State. Well, that's amazing, the whole air fryer thing. Now, I know my sister-in-law has an air fryer. She uses it a ton, loves it. She's made salmon, steak, I'm, I think chicken, pork chop maybe. She's making all the good stuff. Can I tell you how I cheat the garlic these days? I don't know why, because I like it. I just get out my little zester, and then I go like this. Isn't that brill? Uh-oh, except for that part. I don't know why I like doing it like this, but it makes me happy. Okay, upstate New York. Hi, Sandy, Fiona, all parts of UK represented tonight. I agree. Hello from the Netherlands. First time catching your live. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here. Okay, who else? Hi from Holland. Oh my word, Holland? Holland. Netherlands, um, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. I can't even tell. What time is it, you guys? Oh, okay, so your dinner time. Are yeah. you making this with me or no? Megan, you would fit in really well in the Netherlands because I've heard they're the tallest people in the world. The average height in the Netherlands. And Megan is almost six feet tall. It's true, look how much taller I am than you. She's a good t- Eh, eh, eh. Well, I'm slouching, see, look. Okay, well, you're standing on your tippy toes. Let's try. Okay, one garlic clove, did I say that yet? How many of you are making this with me? I feel alone. Okay, the first time I met my American in-laws, they couldn't understand my English accent. My husband had to translate. I would agree with that. When I went to England, the first few days I was there, I'm like, huh? I could not keep up. And then the names of things, you know, they kept saying the garage, the garage. And I'm like, what is the garage? <laughs> it's the garage. 
and they said something else and then I got in on the wrong side of a vehicle because I'm used to, you know, my side. Oh, is my stuff done? Oh, I'm gonna do a manual release on my pressure cooker for the spaghetti squash. It's gonna get loud. No, oh, oh. no, okay. Everything's fine. Okay, so I have tomatoes. I've got the garlic. Benjamin. Hey, do you guys do daylight savings like we do? Benjamin? Oh, Fiona's prepping. Prepping for church. Oh, where, oh. Do, you, where do you go to church, Fiona? Tell us, in Scotland. Are you in Scotland? Uh, yes, I think Fiona, Scotland. yeah, yeah. It is 6.30 p.m. in Ireland. Okay, when do you watch YouTube? Who do you like to watch? Any good recommendations? Who do I like to watch? Our tribe of many. I just find her enjoyable. Um, Mindy Minx. She's a young mama, and uh, her husband's like 30 years older than her, and I just find them lovely. Um, who else do I watch? You know, I feel like I haven't watched much lately. I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks. Who else? I, I've been really uh, doing a lot of like minimalism stuff, but that's on Instagram. I just started reading a book called Goodbye Things, actually listening to it on audio. So we're getting rid of a lot of stuff. Get ready. Pressure cooker is a must for Indian cooking. Really? Whoa. I did not know that. That is really cool. Oh, they pastor a church in, just outside Glasgow. That's fantastic. Glasgow, yeah. Scotland. Wow. What's the name of your church? Tell Suvi. us. Suvi. Hi, Suvi. Glasgow, is that? Is Glasgow north of Edinburgh? Edinburgh or what? I have another pan. Now, this is where the magic's gonna happen. We're gonna put it on the stove. Medium, medium, high-ish, heat-ish, something along those lines. I watch arm wrestling videos on YouTube. <laughs> arm wrestling, survival, YouTube shorts, arm wrestling shorts. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I watch this. <laughs> Why not? It's fun. I don't think I've ever arm wrestled in my life, but once you start watching them arm wrestle, it's really amazing. Then you're like, okay, yeah. so I should probably be doing that too. Yeah. This is working out so well. My uh, spaghetti squash is nearly done. Hi, Birch family. Hi, Alice. Hi, Susan. Okay, Glasgow is so beautiful. Benjamin, what that? what's that? Didn't catch that. Can you say it again? Hi, Suvi. Is it me? And hi, Alice. Yeah, Jennifer. Hi, Susan. Food canning videos. Do you can food? Jennifer, now you're hooked. Always such random stuff. You know what? I'm the same way. Like, I just all of a sudden I'll start watching something. I'm like, why am I watching this? This is weird. Are all the Northern Hemisphere people excited that the uh, days are getting longer? Did you know in January we gained 40 minutes? We gained 40 minutes of daylight? I actually believe that. It seems like it's staying lighter longer. You didn't know that. I just told you. That. That's true. I didn't know that. But <laughs> now that you mention it, I am recalling. But it's a whole 40 minutes. That does make a difference, though, yeah. because 4.30 dark is not fun. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, there is a market for everyone on the good old YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do we have? I've never canned a day in my life, Jennifer. <laughs> I know what you mean. If we have what here in Denmark? Oh, if you have, oh, do you have daylight savings in Denmark? Sorry, Benjamin. Like where you set your, you move your clocks back an hour or ahead an hour? Blondel says yes, but they do it a week before us. Oh, really? Hmm. How in the world do we all keep up? Susan, would you ever grow your own vegetables? No. You know why? Because I have to attend to them. And we don't have time. We just don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah. I barely have time for We would, probably. I, yeah. But then it's like, what I've noticed is that there's so much an excess of, like, tomatoes. Like, you can only eat so many tomatoes. And yes, you can can, but then i got to learn to can. Then i got to get all the stuff. And we do give them a lot to neighbors in the past when we've done it. It's just the time put into it. I just don't feel that I have the time nor the desire. Mm -hmm. Odd question. Did you find freezing meat changes texture and adds water? Sometimes it does, yes. Does it change the texture? Um, more so if it's not fully thawed when you start cooking it. If the, like we had fish last night, mahi-mahi, 
If it's not fully thawed, it will be really hard and not great, but if it's fully thawed, it cooks up beautifully. Small in number, but big hearts. Oh wait, started 13 years ago, been a fun ride, Spirit of Life Church. We are only about 40 each week, but do much outreach for women. Started a food bank, which is busy. That's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. That's great, Fiona. That sounds like a great little ministry you guys have there. Yeah. Why won't I let me go? In Holland, it is 7.29 at night. So this I'll try to make tomorrow. I love to watch your videos. Can we come visit your church? Yeah, Fiona. We'll come. We'll come. The sun was going down at 3.30 here in Washington. Horrible. No. Felt like the day ended as soon as it started. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. Rebecca, my sister cans stuff. Oh, Fiona, if you guys are online, we can watch you online. Yeah. Yes. Or if your church has a... A Facebook page or anything like that, let us know. Spring forward, fall back, Nick and Nick. That's what they say in the UK. Yeah, we say that too. An hour forward at the end of March and an hour back at the end of October. Okay, and ours is November. Um, Jean Marie, hi, hi. And Benjamin, yes. So you guys do the same. Okay, guys, I've got my thing here. Would you mind turning that just slightly? Turn it. Yeah. Okay. Olive oil in the pan. Here's where it gets exciting. Okay. Where is? Oh, I don't have the coast. The ghost of Christmas past spatula, but that's okay. Listen to that sizzle, sizzle. Tomatoes, garlic. We're gonna do a teaspoon of basil. How basil. Basil. Yes. A teaspoon of oregano. These are probably my favorite spices ever. Whoops, that doesn't fit. Oh, that got a little crazy. And then some salt, half a teaspoon, but you know what? I just do it till it feels right. All you have to do is let this go for a minute. One moment in time. And it's just gonna get all the flavors going. Come on. Come on, baby, light my fire. I haven't been singing my traditional song lately, Marky. Have you noticed? What? My fight song? This is my fight song. Take back my life. So, it's ridiculous. Hey, somebody noticed um, that watches the channel said they saw me grocery shopping the other day. I thought so. I, it could have been something else. But I kept thinking, I feel like somebody here is looking at me like they know me. And I, then I got a message that they were. Okay. Um, so can we swap houses for one week a year? You would love the summer desert heat. Susan, yes. Oh, I love the heat. The hotter, the better. Tomato grilled cheese, Rebecca? I mean, like, it, like, is the tomato inside of the grilled cheese? I like dry heat, humid heat. Heaty heat? Hot heat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, we're on Facebook with lies. We are a lively bunch, Fiona. Oh, okay, we have to check that out. I also have winter, summertime in Finland. Are saying to remember which way to fix your clock is always towards summer. Oh, so if it's in November, you know you're gonna go backwards towards summer, and if it's in the spring, you're going forward towards summer. That's clever. Yep. It gets dork and dork. Did you hear that? Dork. It gets dork in Oregon. Um, dork. What? <laughs> it gets dark in Oregon. Oh my goodness. At 4:30. Yuck. You mentioned replacing allergens with applesauce for baking. Yes, um, you can do applesauce. Is that for egg? Let me think about that. Well, because you want a binder. So what would we replace with the applesauce? I, you know, it's been 12, 13 years, so I gotta think about what we used applesauce. Yeah. It might've been in place of butter. Yeah. But let me think about it. Fiona, I'll, we'll try and find you on Facebook and like your church page. Mm -hmm. Um, Edika wants to know, does it help daylight savings time? Help what? No, it helps nothing. Well, see, what they did was is that, um, you know, if you don't change your clock, then the sun rises, uh, it, it wouldn't, the sun wouldn't be rising to like 817. So basically, they, they you set your clock back and the sun rises at like 7, 7, 7, 17. And, you know, they have kids waiting out for buses, and they, want, they wanted it to be daylight when the kids are waiting for the bus, and they're not standing in the dark. 
And yeah, so they set the so they set the clocks the clocks back so there'd be more daylight in the morning and less daylight in the afternoon. Um, and so instead of the sun setting at five thirty, it sets at four thirty. Yeah. It's a no go for me. Okay. Some people like it because it matches with your circadian rhythm more because, uh, anyways. No, I'm listening. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. What are you going to say? No, I like what you're saying. Love when you're done. I don't done. know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Lo okay. Yes, you do. Okay, yeah, for oil. You guys are saying applesauce replaces oil. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, when you're, uh, love when you've done singing videos. Uh, thanks, Fiona. We can come sing for you guys at your church. Mm -hmm. Marcus and I used to lead together. Sarah says she's with you. She's in Florida. She loves the heat. Good. Um, I think you can replace egg with a banana. Um, I've done flax eggs, so I can't remember the measurements, but it's like water with three tablespoons of flax in it, I think. You let it soak, and then you can use that as a binder. Uh, I believe it was two hours during the war to help fa farmers. Okay. I'm with you. I think I've heard that, actually. I, yeah, I'm with you, Gitika. I think it's, it's confusing for all of us here, actually, to move our clocks around. Twice a year, basically. Yeah. Here's broccoli. I'm only gonna put half of this on there because I wanna put the other half on my other thing that I'm making that I can't remember the name of because that's what happens when I'm doing this. And then, bon appetit. Oh, and yes, that, that is right. The daylight saving sign was originally for farmers. That's what I was thinking yeah. too, but I think it helps with everything, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. So, uh, Steven, yes. Stephen and Dog Mama, you are correct. Okay, what am I doing? I don't know. Well, you know, this uh, smells very interesting, I have to say. <laughs> the things that I am smelling right now are... Uh, there are your favorite. Here, have a bite. It's very, very spicy. Shh, 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 shh. Here. Oh, do I have to? Yeah, if you like broccoli, you like tomatoes, basil, all of this. You know how much I have a girl. I know, but you're going to love it. Mmm. Mmm. What? Mm, 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 mm. You like it? Let oh. me smell your bread. No. I've been eating this since high school. I've been making this recipe since high school. No. I love it. I could eat the whole thing. Come on. I'll get a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Okay. What are mm, you? Oh, that's so tasty. Marcus Russell. <laughs> I don't want to see you do that again. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, I'm gonna eat it. I believe you. All right. Oh, you hadn't even eaten it yet. Mmm. Mm. Marcus Russell. It's interesting. It's interesting. Okay, my guy here is done. Watch the power. Marcus Russell. What? I hate it. Lies. Mm -hmm. You don't like it? You told me you were gonna love it. Okay. See this? <laughs> Spaghetti. Where's my Italians at? What are they doing today? Okay, time change was for farmers. You can replace cauliflower, broccoli with cauliflower. Yes, I've done it with green beans as well. Come on. You might be able to do it with zucchini if that's your flavor too. I like a more al dente. Um, oh my word, it's so hot. I can't. I'm doing this for you guys. This is. Oh, yeah. That's so sitting. special. Just said to Avi. He said to warn you, sound quality isn't always the best, but we're in the process of getting new equipment. Listen, you just do what you gotta do, Fiona. All is well. In EU and Ireland, we're thinking of stopping daylight savings time. Helps mental health and also be brighter for school time as they would start at nine. Oh, wow. Put sliced tomatoes with the cheese and grill it like normal, Rebecca says. Okay, I that's like what, that. That's what we should do, is just start school at nine, and then you wouldn't have to mess around. Um, now, I went to a school in Maryland where it was three schools put together. It was two middle schools. There was Old Mill Middle School North, Old Mill Middle School South, and the high school. This was in um, Severn, Maryland, where I used to live. So the South one, because I went to Old Mill Middle School North, the Old Mill Middle School South started at nine because we had to get the buses, you know, a certain time. I have no idea why there were so many different schools, but there were. Oh, I can't watch it. You what are you? What it? are you doing? What is it? This is. Do you need to go take a break? You can do it. No. This is. See it. <laughs> this is what it's like with Ezra too. He can't take it. What are you doing? This. I am making spaghetti. This is how. 
Did you know this is how you make spaghetti? No, it's not. <laughs> That's the guts of the, the gourd. This is not the guts. This is the good stuff. Ooh. If I wasn't doing this for you guys, I would let this cool down slightly. It would make it much easier. Yeah. But I'm doing it for you because I love you. See, I think this is all like Midwestern food and I just don't really care for... This is Midwestern food? Dishes. Yeah. Yes, it is. I don't really like Midwest the food where we're here. No. So where would you like to go? I When I went to the UK, I loved the food there. I thought it was great. And when I went to... Italy, the food was fantastic. Take me to Italy, come on. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. But these dishes that we do here, where we take things and throw them all together. There, there's no, this is not a casserole, oh, dear. It's not. Okay, you can throw olive oil, salt and pepper on this guy, butter, whatever your heart desires. I'm gonna do the uh, tomato goodness, and then we'll just mix it. This is really al dente, which is how I like it. I can't do mushy, I can't do mushy. Okay. Our son, okay, we got this. Yes, so, okay, mm, eat it, Marky. He's prolonging his agony. I know, Gary, he just. I am, aren't I? I just need to eat it. Okay, in Denmark, EU, it's been talking to stop daylight because it will help a lot of people, especially with depression and so on. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Poor Marcus, yeah. Do you feel sorry for him? <laughs> what do you do when an adult acts like a kid? No. He's usually, actually, what's interesting about Marcus is um, with food, other than right now, because we're just being silly, he never complains, right? I didn't even know, when we first started hanging out, we would go out to eat, like say we're at Olive Garden, okay? And he'd be like, oh, you want to try my food? And I'd be like, oh, okay. And then I'd say, do you want to try mine? And he'd go, oh, no thanks. And I didn't even know why. It was so confusing to me. I'm like, why does he never try my stuff? I just had no idea. When we would go to family events and he wouldn't eat anything, it was like, I don't know why. He didn't, he wouldn't say anything negative. I just had to live in oblivion. It was such a mystery. You were so mysterious. I you, was? You're not a complainer. Am I still mysterious? Um, I mean, I think I understand more now. So do you want to be mysterious? No, not necessarily. <laughs> All right. Mmm. What? Bacon and black olives? No, <laughs> don't care. I could do bacon. I Tony, don't know where's Tony at? Where are you at, Tony? She wants to know what do I eat. He actually does eat a lot of things. Um, but you... I don't do dishes. No, no dishes. Hot no. dishes. No hot dishes. Um, I think this person, Ireland, right? I'm very curious, why do you homeschool your children? I think it's very good thing, I'm just curious. Do you want to answer? Um... Better cheese, yes. It wasn't, uh, we homeschool our kids, I think, just because we just wanted to be with our kids. It wasn't necessarily that there was anything bad at public school, um... Or, I'm a product of the public school system. Yeah, and it wasn't that, you know, we're trying to shelter them or anything like that. We just enjoyed being around our kids and wanted to spend more time with them. And, you know, we didn't want to be away from them, you know, eight hours a day. So, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, as they get older, I think we talked. And if one of them really wants to go to school, we would probably, we'd let them try it. So, um, but it didn't really have anything to do with, you know. Sheltering them, or you know, oh, we want to. It was more just that we just wanted to be with them, I guess. That's all. Yeah. When I stop eating, and I think too, being able to tr teach them has been one of the greatest things ever, and to work through different areas where they've been strong or weak. Um, there's certain things that they've really struggled with, and we've been able to work really hard at it and get them through. And there's other things that come super easy, so we're able to fly way ahead. Like, Ezra just got done with an entire thing of math. Um, he pretty much doesn't even have to try at it, and so we're ready to move on to the next one. He got through that in just, yeah, oh, yeah. five months, something like that. He's like a math whiz. Yeah, he really is, but knowing that about him, and then he's like, this is baby stuff. So he wants to do more challenging things, which is really a good confidence booster for him, I think, and also helping him in those strengths. And then Israel has always been an exceptional reader. I think I've told you guys, like he was reading The Hobbit at six and a half. He could read the Bible. He could, his reading skills are amazing. So being able to help that 
is uh, incredible. Okay, no judgment. Genuinely curious. Hey, you can ask. It's okay. How would the broccoli taste if you put it with a squash? Oh, I do not want to know. I'll tell you all about it right now. This is how I usually eat it. It's just like what? This. Yes. Yes, noodles. Mmm. 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 Oh, so. Marcus Russell. Don't be drama. Tell him, don't be drama. Oh. Are you being drama? Yes and no. Usually I don't express these things like this. No. Now, you just hold them inside, shove them down. Shove them way down. <laughs> it's true. He's very respectful about things, and we really just have a good, we've figured out things. But I'm cooking with you guys, so I'm doing something mama likes. You want to get my crackers? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another bite. You want some crackers? Okay. Um, hey, here you go, babe. Oh, somebody asked, what do I eat? What do I eat? Everything. Fish, meat, um, potatoes. Green beans. Lots of green beans. Salad. I will eat broccoli. I do like broccoli. Um, Just not so much like that. We do a lot of um, But more like, stir fries. like steamed broccoli, kind of. Yeah, we do a lot of stir fries. I'll eat pretty much any Mexican. any vegetable except asparagus or cauliflower. Oh, I'm not much, cauliflower? No. I'll eat Mexican, Italian, Chinese, Thai, whatever. Pretty much just not casseroles, this kind of stuff. These kind of like Midwestern, you know. The prize for dangerous living for eating broccoli with spaghetti squash goes to you. <laughs> She's team markers. Come on now. Show them a close-up. It's beautiful. Look at this. Come on. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Look at the colors. Look at the... Can you smell it? Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Hard pass. Mm. Hard pass. Mm. Bread. I like bread. Was that... See what Alicia says? The dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes we will let George uh, have a few little adult uh, human treats. Do we feed him? Well, so we really just make things that we like to eat, so there's not a whole lot of giving George stuff under the table. Yeah. Okay, Norma. Hi, Norma. Do I like to cook? Um, yeah, I like to cook. He's actually really good at timing. So I used to undercook or overcook meat all the time for years. Then he comes over and I just say, is this done? And if he says it's done, it's done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jen would eat all veggies mixed together. Kathy. Megan, you're starving me to death. I'm sorry. <clears throat> send me your address and I'll send you some, okay? <laughs> That's a strong smell. It's a really strong... Oh! Oh. <laughs> okay, you're let's not, stop eating so I can actually talk to these people. You're not getting any kisses today. Oh, yeah. It looks very good. Thank you, Benjamin. You probably could do it in an air fryer, right? Do you saute in an air fryer or is it only set it and forget it? I'm not sure how it works. I would love to homeschool, but it's frowned upon here. Sugi, remind me where you're at. Do you remember where Sugi is? Finland, maybe? Finland? Yes, uh, it's possible but not common, not gonna happen. My son hates it when he's homesick and has to do school stuff with me. Yeah, I mean, there's part of, like when the whole COVID thing happened and everybody was doing homeschool here and people hated it, that's, that's not, you're, you're still doing what somebody else is like making you do and you've gotta do it a certain way to do whatever. In a typical homeschool, you can kind of cater to how your children work best. So it's a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. Suvi's in Finland, got it. We actually have uh, some actual, like several schools here are actually uh, really good. Yeah. Yeah, we actually do have good schools and you, good, uh, really good teachers here. Yvonne, for breakfast on a weekend, would you guys ever have a fry? What's that mean? What's a fry? Hmm. Like fry something up? We don't really eat breakfast, so. We don't fry things, do we? No, but you know when I was in the UK, I don't know if this is normal, so you guys tell me when I was in England, um, the family I stayed with, they made a bunch of breakfast stuff outside on the grill. Bagels. What else did we have off of there? They made a bunch of stuff. It was very interesting. I liked it a lot. So I don't know if it was just 
them or if that's kind of a everybody? I used to eat steak, but I actually can't even eat it anymore. It just hurts my stomach. So um, we we're almost, we're kind of like moving towards being pescatarian. It's like most of the meat we eat now is fish. Yeah, because we buy steak and I never really want to eat it once I cook it. I don't know why, but the girls love it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I give it to them and I just eat the vegetables and whatever's left. And then it's kind of been hurting your stomach. So we've been considering. And I'm fine not eating it anymore. But, yeah. um, but we still like chicken. We still like pork chops. Like what did we do last night? It was ma... Uh, we had mahi-mahi and tilapia, tilapia. And I put this really awesome like blackening seasoning on it. It was really good. And then yeah. what did we eat that with? Oh, green beans. It was so light. Yeah. We didn't have much of anything exciting. Um, yeah. Broccoli is fuzzy. Stinks and doesn't taste good. Can't get it down. Is it because you've had it mushy? You have to have it fresh, I think. See, I'm not that picky. I, I will eat... I, I don't think you're that picky. No. It's just... We're, we're talking about things that you don't prefer. Yeah. Like, if we sat here and talked about mushrooms... I think it's like mushrooms. Like, I don't even want to look at them. I don't. They're too squeaky, she they, says. They're squeaky. They're disgusting. I want to like them, but I can't. Rebecca, broccoli and cauliflower are my favorite veggies. Do I have broccoli with you? No. You're Ooh, good. my mouth is so garlicky. It is. <laughs> I need a coffee. They're gonna be able to smell it through the phone. <sighs> enjoy, enjoy. Okay, Brandy, I've never had spaghetti squash. It looks good to me and I'm picky like Marcus. Yeah, and you know what else you can do with spaghetti squash is you can put actual pasta sauce on it after you cook it. It's not gonna taste like noodles. Like don't let anybody lie to you and say that. I feel like I have to say that every time that I talk about spaghetti squash. This is not pasta, but it's good. Just seasoning is very important. Benjamin, it's very interesting to hear about your homeschooling because here in Denmark, it's mo uh, mandatory to go to a school, private or public. Yes, I've heard that, Benjamin. Yeah, I actually went to a private school um, and then Megan went to public school. Valedictorian, uh, aye, aye, Captain. But what we do here is there, there are like, even though you homeschool, right, you still have to do standards. Like there's certain things you have to- You have to be doing what the public school is doing. Yes, you have so, to be able to do what the public school is doing. So if in third grade they're doing, you know, <clears throat> social studies, English, math, mm -hmm. PE, whatever, you just have to be doing those things in your school. And every yeah. state is different what their requirements are. It's pretty loose here, but, um, like some states require you have to do so many days, so many hours, you have to document a certain way. Thankfully, we don't have to do that. Uh, so. but, but the good thing is, is that with homeschool, you can go at your kid's own pace. So if they can learn faster, they can get done faster and then actually start college sooner. Like you can actually- That's our goal. Our goal is to have the kids start college in- As soon as they can. So sometimes yeah, you 14, can do it like 14. Yeah. yeah. So we want to get them to the point where they can start doing classes, whether it be online or in person, whatever. Yeah. Okay, um, Jessica, you finally caught a live. Woohoo! Steven, a fry up is a full English breakfast. Oh. With the blood sausage and the um It's eggs and eggs, then you have beans. beans. I think they have beans. I think yeah. tomato uh the tomatoes where they're like what would you call them? Almost uh they're softened somehow. I can't remember think of the word. I do like scrambled eggs. Oh, here it is. In Ireland, it could be bacon, sausage, tomato, hash brown, mushrooms, maybe beans. Oh, that yeah. sounds fantastic. I'll yeah, do. minus the mushrooms. And all, yes, all of that sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Not every week at, weekend wouldn't be the healthiest. I love steak. It's my favorite thing to eat. Can't wait to get these braces off. I will have it every day. Yes. Oh, hello in Chile. <gasps> what? I don't Where? think we've ever had somebody from Chile. Hi. Um, we know people from Bolivia, but I don't think we know anybody from um, Chile. From Bolivia, she was. She has um, Chile. Oh. Yeah, Chile is such an interesting. That's an interesting place. Um, well, thanks for joining she... us, by the way. Okay, Suvi. In Finland, we have one of the best education systems in the world, according to studies, and it's free even in university level. We mainly have only public schools. Yeah. See, I think we should do like what you guys do in Europe is we should probably just, I think because a lot of like higher education is free, we should probably mm -hmm. end up doing that here. And I've heard that, Suvi, about Finland, uh, actually all kind of like a lot of Scandinavian countries in Europe that the education system is just really, really, yeah, really amazing. Good. Yeah. Okay. A.N. 
You're, you're Germany, right? I had broccoli raw, steamed, mushy, and creamy soup. I hate it all. I'm like that with mushrooms, so I'll leave it to you. Cauliflower is great, but broccoli, no. But if you cook mushrooms cooked in butter, no. With steak, oh no, it is not life changing. I can't, I have, no. Mushrooms in any way, shape, or form, no bueno. Benjamin, we, we do, here we do a lot of Spanish, at least in a lot of schools, we do a lot of Spanish because there's just a lot of Spanish speakers here, but it seems like even though we, they teach it and we learn it, we don't, we, ever, don't we don't really ever get fluent in Spanish. It's like we kind of, we learn some words, some sentences, and then... Um, you need to go to an immersion school for that, and they do yeah. have some like in Chicago, Texas. I have a friend, uh, she sends her little boy to a German immersion school, so they only speak German there. Hi, Kirsty in Australia. Are you excited about the Australian Open? It starts in a few days. Do do do? It's going to be on at our house 24 7. I wish I could go to Melbourne and see the Australian Open. Wouldn't One that of be? these days, I'll take you. I'll take you. Yeah. You and want some? Oh, I'd like to drive across the Outback. That would be really, really amazing. Oh, hi, Karen in Flint, Michigan. Wait a minute, what? What's going on here? What a, okay, what about foreign language? We learned English in grade one. Smashed worms, mushrooms is a hard pass for me. Smashed worms? Smashed worms. Is that what mushrooms are to you, Alicia? Because, <laughs> yeah. Okay, hello, Austria. Okay, I agree, no mushrooms in any way, shape, or form. Yes. Okay, Yvonne, yes, in Ireland we learn Irish language, English, French, Spanish, Italian, or German. Fluently. Do you learn, so Yvonne, do you know... Do you speak the Irish language? Blue? Was it Gaelic? That's, that would be amazing. Oh. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> it's okay to not like every food. I agree. It is great that we are all different. Yes, I'm German. Guten, ap Guten Appetit. I don't know why I struggled to say that. Don't get mad. Hi, Karen, new sub from Flint, Michigan. Just joining live, but we'll catch the replay to catch up on what I've missed. Well, we made a lot of tasty stuff here. Right, Marky? Mm. Garlic, butter, yeah, Parmesan good. cheese would be awesome on the squash. Leslie, I agree. Leslie, did you come over from, um, from uh, Lauren's channel? Is that the same Leslie? My boyfriend is Italian and is refusing to teach me. He won't teach you Italian because he wants to speak English, doesn't he? Is that what it is? Okay, in India we learn English and Hindi and state language. Mine was Punjabi. Um, Gitika, right? I, f I feel like every time I wanna make sure I'm saying that right. I met a, a woman from India and I can't say where she was from. This was years ago, she was a med student. And when she was speaking, she had a very British sounding accent and it really threw me off. I was like, you sound like you're from England. This is so crazy, but the type of English, that's the type of English she was learning. Where she's at, is that true for you? Okay, Benjamin, next time you travel to Europe, co uh, come visit Denmark. I'll take you on a tour to show you. Yes, beautiful Denmark and diversity. It's even a very, even tough. It's a very small country. Hello from the Netherlands, Pascal. Well, is that yeah. how you say that? Copenhagen. I'd love to visit Copenhagen sometime. That's a that's a really beautiful Irish Gaelic from age five. Yvonne says. Wow. I'm so jealous. You pronounce my name perfectly. Okay, good. I'm probably still gonna check with you every time, because that's just how I am. Alicia, you guys should watch the Try Channel. It's Irish people take, trying all different kinds of food and drink. I love listening to the accent. Ooh, the Try Channel. That's a good idea. All right. That. Yes, you said my name perfectly. Oh, good. Um, he's really good at English, too. Oh, yeah. We learned the Queen's English. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Queen's English, yeah. Mm -hmm. and India. Melissa, hello, from Cabo Rojo. Is that how you say it? Puerto Rico? Hey. Puerto Rico? Whoa. Yes, Debbie Vargas is my friend from Puerto Rico. I think I've told you that before because you guys have the same last name. Wow, I feel very garlicky. I'm sorry about that. You are very garlicky. Might as well eat some more. 
It's so good. It's so flavors. I like it. How many of you are going to try it? How many of you are like, that's a definite no for me? I'm not offended. I have learned to not be offended. At first, when we were first together and he, he had preferences like most people do in life, I was like, I'm so sad. <laughs> but now it's just like, okay. Sometimes we should make madeleines. We have made madeleines. How many of you like those? I still have the rum from it. I had to use it to make vanilla because we've had that rum for six yeah, years, seven year. years. And um, we made madeleines with it. I had a madeleine pan, pan, but then I don't have it anymore because we made it the one time and I was like, eh. Yeah. Here's our Bacardi. Bacardi rum. Yes, you say it correct. Cabo Rojo. All and right. And we use it for madeleines. Benjamin, don't worry about the misspelling. Story of my life. All is well. We learned British English at school of Pascal. It's smelling better now that it's less yeah. is in there. It used to smell like rubbing alcohol. Now I can actually smell the rumness of it. Yeah. But we've had this jar, this bottle for a good six years. Made Madeleine's. Now we've made the uh, vanilla. Yeah. Which still smells like rum. It doesn't have any vanilla flavor to it. And it's been since August sitting in the jar doing its thing, so. A friend of ours also gave us a bottle of sake, and man, it was so good. It was a uh, Fuji apple. Fuji apple sake, oh. Benjamin, I would definitely try it. I bet it tastes amazing, good. Janet's gonna try it when your ankle's better, right? My English teachers had studied in Scotland, so I have a little touch of Northern English in my English, but I have a strong German accent as well. The result, Norwegians think I'm Norwegian. That is fantastic. Oh. Watching from Hurricane, West Virginia. Hi, Kim. The Irish Tribe is on YouTube. I watch them all the time. Okay, we're, I'm going to watch it. What's it called? The Irish Tribe? Oh, wait. No, well, that's what she's saying. The Tribe? The Tribe Channel. The Tribe Channel. Okay. Yeah, we're going to check it out. We love that kind of yeah. stuff. Yay. What are you guys up to for the rest of the day? I'm thinking I've got to run for an errand. I have to go to the post office. And... Hey now. Mm -hmm. What are we doing for dinner? I'm gonna, we are making, well, you already made it, but it's pot pie. Oh, we're having pot pie. Okay, so I'm just warming it up. And maybe some salmon. Yeah, I think we're doing that too. We like to have weird combinations, just whatever our fancy feels. Yeah. Marcus, just finished my Costco beef ribs that were on sale, if used by today. Glad I could see you. Oh, good. Pascal, I love your videos. Benjamin, can you make a video again how to make vanilla paste? Pascal, where are you at? Are you are you here in America? Where are you? In the United States? Oh no, she's in um oh no, I already forgot. Uh no, no uh Netherlands. Oh the Netherlands, okay. Um Benjamin, I've never made a paste. Hold on. This is what I made. This is vanilla um, extract. And so I only had a little bit for this guy, but this one's, he's going strong. Supposedly it needs a year to be amazing. And I have on here August of last year. Oh, actually this is probably the first time that it smells like there's vanilla beans in there. So I just grabbed vanilla beans and then I got the vodka here and you pour it till it's above the uh, beans and there are I think I had to measure this out. I have it somewhere. I'll, I'll link the video if I can remember. Um, but I've never done like a paste because I've never needed anything with that. But you just slice open the vanilla bean, let it kind of be exposed, and then put the vodka, the rum, whatever you want into it, and let it sit for a year. You can supposedly you can do this in the pressure cooker and it can be done like, you know, however long that takes. But I didn't have a pressure cooker at the time, so. So there's that. You want to say hi to her? What's up, girlfriend? Show your hat. Hi. Do say you hi. guys ever Wait. eat ribs? Oh. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your video. It helps me keep my sanity with this lovely cold weather here in Tennessee. Alice, anything for you. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay, so vanilla extract. Yeah, I'll link the video in the description box of this when we're all finished. They have two tri channels. Just look up Irish tri. Okay, got it. Who is more organized, Marky or Megan? 
Oh, Megan. I don't think that's true, though. You know, okay, there's two different kinds of organizers, right? There's somebody that's always, like, organizing things and refining things. I'm, I love that. But Marcus always has everything in the same spot. Like, you put everything away. Everything goes back where it is. You don't have a, a bunch of stuff you don't need. You, you never lose things. Yeah, and if I can't find something, it's usually because she moved it. But so I'm getting know. better at that. But she's the expert at finding. I can't find anything. I don't know why, but she can always find something if I lose it. If anybody loses something, it's like a gift I have. Yes. It's the gift You're that... You're finder. Yes. Like, I don't even have to know what it is. I just go tell me, and then my spidey senses are activated, and I can find it. It's amazing. Oh, oh, your videos. Love your videos. You're a great inspiration to me, especially when you upload shopping preparation videos. Oh, good. Oh. I have so much fun with that. Can we get a hey before you go? Hey! <laughs> or we could do Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello! <laughs> in Finland, kids start learning a foreign language in first grade. In our school, you choose between English, German, and Russian. That's probably, yeah, we should do that here. We should start it probably a lot earlier than. Well, I'm looking at Nola, so we do German with her. She probably, I'm not saying we're anywhere close to anything, but when I speak German to her, she picks it up. She's two. She's, she knows how to say Esleka. Um, if I say to her, bist du fertig? You know, she knows we're all done. Hast du hunger? Ja. She'll say, danke. The only thing is so cute. She'll say, danke, when I give her something. And then I'll go, bitte. And then she'll say, bitte. So she'll get it. <laughs> your, love your videos as usual. Thank you. Love your shopping hauls. Learning a lot. Now I need to crack how to stop the habit spending on clothes. I've never had that habit, but shop your closets first. <laughs> We've had other spending habits. Yeah, we've had other spending things, but not the clothes one. Mm. Have you ever tried making dinners from different countries? Just curious. Well, we do like to make um, like Chinese, some Chinese things. Um, we like Mexican or Hispanic, whatever. Did they, um, mean, did they mean like specific? Peruvian. Yeah. Oh, we haven't had that in a while. Peruvian, Peruvian chicken. chicken. Yeah. Oh man, it's so good. But yeah. I'd love to do more. Yeah. Um, we've tried. Uh, we really need like a but we don't have the, the oven or the stove to do that. Yeah, yeah, we don't have that. Hi from Belgium. Oh, hi. Hello. My family is from Belgium. I think my mom's side of the family is from Belgium. What is a sous vide? In third grade, you can choose a second language. We are so dumb here. <laughs> In sixth grade, everyone starts talking Swedish. You study the language until the end of primary school, grade nine. Man. We need to get our act together. Mm -hmm. um, Mom used to tell me if I'd lose my brain if it wasn't attached. I feel the same way about myself at times. And then, uh, Alicia, okay, I can't find a really wonderful man who also happens to be a cop to date. Can you find me that, Megan? No, but I have a friend. She'll find you anybody for anything. She sets up friends. She's like, you would be good friends with this person. I have a friend. I went on a blind date with somebody to be a friend. Her name is Chris, and we are still friends to this day. Really? We both showed up. Hannah, well, she did like she was my good friend, and then she did Kristen's hair, and she knowed, noticed that we had a lot of similarities. She's like, "You guys should get together." So we texted each other, and we went and had Starbucks. I'd never met her before, but my friend Hannah might be your girl. She can find anybody, anything. Okay, will there come more budget videos, Megan? I'd like to do more budget videos. I don't know how in depth to get about it. It's kind of like you know, that's what I'm. I've been thinking about. Love how down to earth you guys are. Well, that's good. That's how we do it. <laughs> Just gotta be us. We love to cook roast dinners on Sundays in Ireland. Do you cook like full roast chicken, beef? Um, yes, we have done that for sure, but it's not, it's garlicky, isn't it? Whoa. <laughs> that You're not gonna wanna be around me anymore. <laughs> Drink coffee, it'll take the garlic away, right? <laughs> I love garlic and coffee, bro. <laughs> Mm. Um, yeah, I, I don't know anybody that does like the full Sunday dinners. That's like days gone by. Yeah. It feels like. I'm sure there are people that still do that, but not anybody we're connected with. Mm -hmm. But we used to make roasts a lot, but then it kind of hurt our stomach. Yeah. We used to do roast chicken, but I can't even find a whole chicken right now at the yeah. store. I haven't found it for I don't know how long. And it's kind of pricey. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Jen, school here, we started French in junior kindergarten all the way to grade 12. What does junior kindergarten mean? I've not heard of junior kindergarten. Does your sourdough sort of react different in colder temperature in the winter? Yes. It makes me cranky. Well, I thought something was really wrong with my starter because in the summertime, obviously our kitchens are gonna be warmer for the most part. And this particular house, the kitchen area is much colder than even the other parts of the house. So it was just, it, my sourdough was cranky and I had to work through a lot of that. But I think um, we have, a bird just flew into our window. Oh, that was great. Okay. Um, I've had to work, work it out, you know, make it work. But now my sourdough is happy. You want to see it? I already have it out. I just fed it. I've been thinking about making English muffins. That's why I fed it. Because it takes 24 hours to like sit and get happy. First you feed it, then you do the stuff, let it sit for 24 hours. So I'm trying to decide how I want to do that. But anyway, love garlic, Norma. I know, but it's so smelly. With budgeting videos, I see these things called money wallets seem to be on the trend right now. Any of you on money wallets? I'm assuming that means like a wallet that has the little envelopes already attached to it. I think that's been around for a good while because I saw them years and years ago. Instead of carrying around a bunch of envelopes with here's your restaurant stuff or here's your groceries or here's your gas, you would just have it in a wallet. I think I started seeing it on Etsy and I thought it was pretty cool, but then I, we really don't carry cash. So that for me wasn't a thing, but if you're a cash carrier, Especially since COVID, a lot of places don't even take cash, like if you're doing self-checkout. Um, yeah. Junior kindergarten is four years old. Oh, uh, that would be preschool here. Very interesting. You can do like preschool two years, three and four. Okay, well, we have to study languages. There's only five million people in the world who speak Finnish. Suvi, mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense. Okay, have a nice day. Bye, Benjamin. I hope you feel better. Yeah. Get... Oh, and hopefully the fever is gone. Yes. I think orange juice does as well. Hey, guys, I finally made it. Oh, God, you made it. Is the bird okay? Yeah, it flew off. Totally fine. It just yeah. had a moment of like, whoa, that's a window. We have a lot of birds right now. I think they're coming and getting little like um, berries. But anyway, oh, yeah. we, I'm gonna, we're going to sign off. And I'm going to go drink some coffee to get rid of the garlic taste. But this is so tasty. And uh, thank you, sir, for your helpfulness yes, being here. Yes, it was wonderful. You want to shake on that? Excellent. Well done. Come on, squeeze it good. Well done. Excellent, excellent. Okay. This is my right hand, so I have to be strong. This is you. my right hand. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I'd like to begin making sourdough with a self-made starter, but if I make the starter, what do I do with the piece I have to throw away? You just throw it away, or you make a flatbread with it. I've been watching arm wrestling videos. I know, but okay. this is my right hand, so... I, okay, oh! Come on. Go, 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 I'm go, getting go. sweaty. Uh, my face is getting red. Oh, it's <laughs> getting good. That was good. Are you impressed with my skills? Yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah. Well, look how much longer your arms are. I know, I have some leverage. Here's our elbows. Oh my god. She goodness. has these like. <laughs> these are my gazelle. Go, go, get your arms. <laughs> <laughs> we canceled a family vacation once because a bird hit the window and died. Oh my word, Valerie. What? Oh my goodness. Uh, bye, Yvonne. Bye, guys. Let's talk soon. Um, yeah, let's talk soon, and you guys have an amazing day. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. See ya. It's great to talk to you guys. It was. It's the best. Have a good weekend. See you next week. Bye, Beverly. Bye, Valerie. How old is your starter at the moment? November of 2021. So it is now, you know, 13, 14 months. Woo, woo, woo. Bye, guys. It was short and sweet out for Olga. I know. I'm sorry, Olga. Have a great day, Tina. Bye, Jen. Bye, Yvonne. Bye, Rebecca. Bye, Julie. Wow, I feel like a lot of garlic here. I'm feeling like, toodaloo. Bye, Rachel. I used to teach my daycare kids that to always say toodaloo. Actually, I'd say toodaloo. Okay, bye. Thank you. Oh, another one just flew in the door. Oh, my window. word. These birds. All right, I'm going to shut it up. Yeah, Rebecca, we are a little bit silly. I agree. What? She said you guys are silly. Yeah. Can't help it. Have to be. Up there. See that X right there in the corner? Okay, I'm going to push it.